Evolve your game and get a $100 bonus. Sign up now at TVG.com. We got a special guest at Churchill, and wow, I used to protect this guy for a living. Now he's at the, at the <laughs> Kentucky Derby having uh, mint juleps with Simon and Todd. <laughs> Well, that, that's why it would explain he went to more All-Star games than you. You know how many times I have to say four-time Major League All-Star Paul Duca? I see you and raise you six-time Major League All-Star Moises Alou. You and the Pauly man go back a long ways, don't you? Yes, we do. Uh, I'm surprised he's talking about me because I, I came here on, uh, on the air just to let everybody know that I made some money because Paul Duca this morning, he picked number six, a little bit sassy in the ninth race. And I bet it because of that. A lot of people on my suit made a lot of money. And also, he almost won with number nine. I forgot the name of him. Looking over here, the, the race before that finished second. Uh, it was a long shot, so Paul is doing pretty good. So you owe him. He said he's protected you through all throughout <laughs> your career. Now he's making you money. Well, we, we were both hurt most of the time when we played in New York. <laughs> <laughs> when you played in New York. Um, first of all, you, you've loved horse racing for a long time. For those who aren't familiar, you're not just a guy who plays the races. You own and breed them as well. Tell us a little bit about your owning and breeding operation. Well, that's something that is a hobby that, you know, you spend a lot of money, but you love it. You enjoy it a lot. And, and this is why I'm here. I promised myself that after I retire, I was going to be at the Derby every year. And I've been to the Derby every year since, uh, since 09. And um, I just love uh, horse racing and breeding, racing, watching the races, and watching TVG. And you'll see, you still spend a lot of time in the Dominican, right? Yes, I do. And uh, when you come to the Kentucky Derby, what's your favorite part of it? Is it when they sing my old Kentucky home and they come on the track, or is it the running of the race itself? What? Well, I love seeing you guys, and uh, I love uh, coming to Kentucky. I remember when I came to uh, when I came to uh, to play the Reds. I used to come to the farms in Lexington all the time, and you know everybody loved the mint julep too. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because I saw you at your first Derby, and I saw you the day out, the day after on Sunday, and I'm like, yeah, I think Moises had a few mint juleps and uh, the list. Yeah, I that's right. I had a couple. <laughs> Are there any Paul Aduka playing day stories you can tell us that are for the families that, oh, yeah, that you can that hear it out there, at TVG oh, no. stories? Uh, no, not too many. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, since uh, you also have great knowledge of the sport, first of all, untappable looks pretty unbeatable in the Kentucky Oaks. What about California Chrome tomorrow, the favorite in the Derby? I really like him a lot. Uh, the way he won the Santa Anita Derby, you know, he really showed that he's a great horse. He's the horse to beat. Uh, I'm hoping that also my... Uh, the horse for my friend uh, Jose Garofalo, Walker Red, comes through for him, and I'm pulling for him. But I, I know the California Crown is going to be tough, so hopefully Walker Red can beat him. Moises, you look like you take a couple of ABs tonight. If you had to, you're in great shape. It looks like you're enjoying retirement. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks Moises for joining. Alou, joining us here on TVG. Paula Duke, I think you take too much credit sometimes, but how about that? He loved your pick in the Edgewood that you gave out on the Oaks Handicapping yeah, Preview. He, he better tomorrow have some good picks for me because I'm not even <laughs> going to study to, uh, tomorrow racing for I'm just going to count on Polly. <laughs> All right, Polly, you always, start there. Always a great teammate, Moises Alou, always a great teammate. Moises, you got to tell him why you never wore batting gloves and how you got your hands strong in the offseason. Uh, yeah, it's for off-air. <laughs>